an outpatient mental health clinic and substance use clinic. So you are so you only do what? Wait, say that mental again? health? Yeah, yeah, they and, told me to come here for housing. And substance use. Bill? Yeah. So that's primarily what we do. If you're connected to services here and you're a client, they might eventually start trying to get you placed into housing, but it's not something we do like right off the bat for anybody. So I just came from Amni Housing, okay. and they told me I need a case manager, and okay. they said so I get a case manager here. That means that they're wanting you to be opened up for services for either mental health or substance use assistance. So, so they, they're saying I'm mental. Or you need substance use assistance. So they're saying I'm a drug addict. Either one. Okay. So that's the only way you can get housing is if you say you're a drug addict or you're mental? No, but that's what we do here. So if they're sending you to us, that's what we do here. Well, see, uh, probation, they won't help me. Okay. And I went to Amni, the hotel. Okay. They sent me here and said I need a case manager. Okay. Again, our case managers are for clients. So, so, so what is this big disconnect in Placer County? Yes, I called in jail. Two one one. Okay, so two one one. What they, did they, they tell did, you to do? They were supposed to send me vouchers to the homeless shelter. They never did. So I would go back to two one one and see about that. Or so, so only a phone number is how you get housing in, in Placer County. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you what I can do to help you here. So this we're a mental big... we're a mental health clinic here. We have people that are here that need mental health services and treatment. But I've been here for mental health. They did you get screened? Yeah, I got screened. And that's why I thought I'd have a case manager. So let me look you up in the system. But I don't want to be labeled as mental. I can't argue with any of that. Yeah. What's your date of birth? Two six of ninety one. Tyler Lindner. Okay. Yeah. He's busy with him, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here for a screening. Is it for the sensitive screening? Yeah. It's around the side, actually, the building. It's kind of, kind of in the middle. There will be a door. All right. Thank you. Is this going to cause me more problems? Are people going to chase me around trying to get me to come places if I, if I sign up for this? Nope. It's all whatever you're wanting to do. We don't make you do anything. Well, I don't know. I was just talking to the guy outside, and he was saying it makes it worse sometimes when you're on probation. Then you got these people chasing so you around because they're giving you housing and shit. And I'm just curious. Probation's different. Probation, you have to go by whatever they're telling you to do. It's not us. Yeah, I'm, I'm very aware of probation. Okay. I've had very, very bad problems with probation. With Turning Point. So I can only get housing through Turning Point now. You need your case worker and case manager is with Turning Point. They're the ones that are supposed to refer you out for housing services if that's what you're looking for. Well, I don't like going to Turning Point because then they try to make me take mental health pills and I don't need them. I can't. I mean, if you're if you're with Turning Point, that means that you need a different level of care than what we offer here. So I'm at a higher level of care. It's just different. I don't know the difference, but this is different. So Turning Point offers their services. Because I was in jail one time, and they were going to let me out because I was going to do drug court. Okay. But then my probation officer said, I needed a higher level of care. So instead of letting me out, they fucking let me sit in jail, and they try to, let me get, they try to make me do mental health court. So I signed up for mental health court. And so then at the end, the DA said, no, instead of mental health court, we'll let you out today if you just take the two felonies. So I'm a little confused, like, what's really going on here? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I understand your frustration, and everybody's telling you to go to different places. What I can tell you is that you're signed up for turning or for for Turning Point. You should have a case manager at Turning Point. They should be able to assist you with housing resources through Turning Point. Have you asked them? I have asked them. Last time I was out of jail, I went there and I asked them. They said they were going to set me up with the housing coordinator. And they never got to me. And I was going there every Tuesday, Wednesday for counseling. Uh -huh. And then once a month 
to get my prescription that they said I had to take on my court documents that I wasn't taking because it's fucking kills your brain. Okay. So, I don't know how long ago was that? Two, three months ago. Okay. And did you just get out of jail again? Yeah. Okay. So then you need to go.